What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is now my iPhone of choice. I have a second SIM in here, and I'm going to show you what's on my iPhone and pretty much what cases I use as well. But before I do begin, I'd really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the YouTube algorithm and will help push my content out to more people. And also just as a heads up, Pokemon 25, it's the 25th anniversary. Um, I have a bunch of Pokemon content coming soon, obviously not to this channel, um, but I am working on a channel with Pokemon, so you might find it if you dig around the channel, uh, but that's for a different time. Anyway, let's dive right in. All right, so here is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this is in Sierra Blue, 128 gigs. Now, before I actually dive into the iPhone itself, I want to talk about the case and the wallet case I use. So I have the Apple's uh, official leather case in green. This is like a dark green. I think that this, well, at the time of this recording, I don't have the Apple Watch Series 7, but I think this is going to fit really well with the Apple Watch Series 7 in green. And you can tell that there is a mark from the Apple wallet. And this is the new Apple wallet for 2021. Um, I had the blue from last year and this year I wanted to kind of go matching. So I went and bought green. And this one is now you can um, use it in Find My iPhone. So if you do pick up the new wallets for this year, um, you can kind of track them where if you take them off or if you don't carry them with you, you can see where it was left um, last. So there is pretty much my case and my, my wallet that I use with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, looking at the home screen, it's pretty much all stock apps and some Google apps here and there, but I do have a second SIM here and pretty much um, I have three widgets here on the left side and on the right side are all of my icons and looking at the, the top widget is my battery icon, and obviously when I put on AirPods, it'll show the battery icons. Unfortunately, I have that because there is really no, like I have to swipe down from notification from the top to see the battery percentage. So just having it right here on the home screen is much more easier for me. Uh, the notch is smaller, but Apple didn't really make too much of a use of putting the battery percentage there. So Apple, if you're listening, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are asking for the same thing. Please put a Apple Watch or I can't even talk, please put a battery percentage in the, you know, in the top, you know, where we can see instead of using a widget. Anyway, my second one is Notion. So I've been, I recently downloaded this app. I've had, well, I've had it for a while, but I've recently started to use it more often. And it's pretty much my video upload dates and ideas for the main channel. As you can see, I have a bunch of different, you know, ideas and, what I need to get done for the channel, what video ideas I need to get done for the channel. So I use it for that and I make sure, and I'm always, I have it more so on my iPad mini right over here that I'm using more often, like writing them on Notion and um, editing, deleting, whatever. So when I'm on the go, I can at least check and be like, okay, this is what I have to do today. This is what I was going to be filming today. Um, so I have those video ideas. Now I know um, a lot of people are really, they're really, how can I put it? They're more on Notion more often than I am. I just have a super simple list here of videos to record and ideas and whatnot. But for the time being, it keeps me going and it keeps me on track and knowing that I have videos, uh, whenever a video idea comes to my mind, I always write it down um, in the notes right here so I don't forget if I do later on. Next up, I have the weather widget um, just because I, I'd like to check the weather. Um, I guess it's turned off right now, but as of right now, it's Rochester 73, Bipolar Rochester, New York. That's great. Now, moving on to the apps on the side, from camera to FaceTime, photos and podcast. Um, I'm typically more of a Google podcast, but I am trying out Apple podcasts as well. My default Gmail or my email is Gmail, so I don't really use Apple's email app either. Um, then I have the clock as well as the app store and Apple watch. So really anything that I need to get access to really quickly photos and the YouTube creator studio, which I'm using often, uh, the settings app, which for some reason I need on my home screen, like for either device, whether it's Android or iPhone, I need 
the settings app on the home screen as well as YouTube to end it off on um, the second row. YouTube is obviously one of the most used apps that I have that I use uh, a lot. And then on the bottom row, we just have our default, our phone, Safari messages and Apple Music. So looking at the home screen, it's very simple. There's nothing too out of the ordinary with that. Okay, so when we move over to the next page, we have everything pretty much in folders besides files and TubeBuddy I just recently downloaded. Uh, I've been using it for a while, but anyway, Apple is our first folder. We have all of our default from weather to health and Apple TV and whatnot. We have all the default Apple apps here. I wish calculator would come to the iPad, but maybe someday. Next up is entertainment. So this is pretty much like streaming from Pokemon TV, hence Pokemon 25th anniversary, Amazon Prime video, which I've had Prime for years now. And I recently started using Prime a couple months back. Like that's, I just totally forgot about having Amazon Prime video, but it's coming clutch. I've been watching a bunch of uh, TV shows lately. Uh, YouTube music, which I have a YouTube premium. So it really does um, help out a lot there as well as Disney plus and Disney plus has been one of my favorites uh, for the past year. I've had a subscription since it first came out in 2019. Then we have our finance folder with our banks and you know, um, all of that finance stuff. Um, then we have food and it's as you can tell, it's just either Dunkin or Starbucks. I like to keep it at bare minimum. I used to have a bunch of different uh, apps for fast foods and whatnot, but I got rid of them and I only have Dunkin' and Starbucks as of right now. Moving on to our Google folder, everything really Google apps that I use. Um, my default web browser on my iPhone is a Safari, but as you can see, I do have Chrome. I'll use it once in a while. And I do have Google Docs where I make sure my voiceovers are in place um, and they're all finished on time. Google Podcasts is also here. I use Google Keep on my Android devices uh, just to make sure it's the same thing as Notion, but on my Android devices. Uh, Google Maps is my primary uh, Maps app that I use. I use it more than Apple Maps. Then when we go to miscellaneous, we got Dropbox, we got Fiverr, uh, which I'm working on a new logo uh, on for the channel. As of right now, we have Uber, which I don't really use because I mean, I, I haven't, I just haven't come to really need it so far, but when I do need it, I know I have it there. Speed test, which I, I do once in a while, and Notion, the actual app. Then when we move to photo and video, this is a folder I use often. I have iMovie, which I just get some basic editing done or you know, cropping out some certain clips and whatnot. Um, then we have Lightroom, which I'm always using uh, when I'm taking a photo for a thumbnail or for a no normal picture, I will bring it into Lightroom and edit through my phone. I also have it on my iPad mini as well. Then we have the Canon Camera Connect application. And this is pretty much, cam the Canon is my main uh, DSLR. I have the uh, T7i as of right now. I do plan on upgrading in the future, but as of right now, it, it gets the job done. And I use that to bring over photos and videos real quickly. Um, if I have, sometimes I have some, you know, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth issues with the app itself. So I just directly um, take out the SD card for my camera, put it into my MacBook and airdrop onto my iPhone, which is so much easier, which is why I do all my photo editing on my iPhone or my iPad mini. And I don't do any photo editing on my Android device. Next we have Unsplash. Um, I would be using, I used to use this photo or this app uh, mainly for, wallpapers and I still do once in a while with backdrops. This is now my number one um, app location for pretty much wallpapers. And I have it on my Android device too. I have it on my iPad mini. And I absolutely love the wallpapers that they have included on backdrops. So pretty much I can put it this way. A lot of photos or a lot of wallpapers that you see on my devices on the channel, they are through this app called Backdrops. So be sure to download the app Backdrops and you can browse for so many different wallpapers. Um, but Backdrops is, is a really good app that I strongly recommend for wallpapers. Now, moving on to shopping, we have quite a bit. We have the Apple Store, we have Best Buy and Amazon, which I'm always, I'm literally on every day. H&M, which is one of my favorite um, clothing lines. Um, and it's probably the only app that you see for clothing lines 
because I'm always shopping from H&M. Obviously, there are other good clothing lines that I do recommend and I wear myself, but I just don't have the applications for them. Next up, we have eBay. I'm on here once in a while, and then we have Kohl's as well. Sometimes they have some pretty good deals, so it's good to always have the Kohl's app. Then we have Walmart and Target. Uh, I'm always I'm physically there quite often at Walmart and Target. But it's always good to know to have the application if I want to just, you know, pick up something right away and order it and just, you know, go to the store and pick it up. Then we have Klarna. I actually don't use anymore. This used to be, I remember I picked up um, a couple years back, I picked up a Galaxy Watch Active 2 and just paid monthly. Um, but I will not be using this anymore. So there we go. Deleted. Because I literally haven't used it since 2019. I don't know why it's still there. But there we go. It's deleted. Then we have our smart home, we have our Philips Hue, and then we have, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's Lorix, and I use this for, um, you know, for cameras, as well as Senglid Home, and I have a couple different, so I have Philips Hue light bulbs, as well as Senglid Home light bulbs. And this one is great, Senglid Home works um, with, I just haven't set it up on my 13 Pro Max yet. It works well with Wi-Fi. You don't need a separate hub, whereas Philips Hue, you do need a separate hub. So if you're looking for light bulbs and you, you, you I, I, I can put it this way. For me, I personally see as Wi-Fi light bulbs are just easier than having a, a hub to do it, but that's just my personal opinion. And then we have social media right here. Uh, we have our TikTok, we have Instagram, buy me a coffee. We also have Caption Writer, which is also great. I go in here once in a while and I will, let's just wait for this ad to, um add to pop okay there we go so sometimes i'll go in here just to get the um copy with fonts and spaces so i will write my um my uh, comment or my uh, caption here and i will copy and go back to instagram and i'll paste just like that we have linkedin for my professional and uh just for my you know personal matters as well as twitter which i am on often and right here is actually my handle for my pokemon uh twitter and everything here you see is pokemon so there we go oh, okay fusion strike has been added to the pokemon center i'll be taking a look at that then we have medium medium is always is an app that i am on frequently i am always reading articles and i'm posting articles uh once in a while i'm not as frequently on you know posting articles as i used to but if you're looking to make some passive income maybe um, and you want to improve your writing skills, Medium is definitely a place to start. I did make a video on it, if you can earn money on Medium uh, on my channel last year back in 2020. So if you want to you know, check out that video, uh, go right ahead. I do talk about Medium a little bit. Then we go to strategy games. So Call of Duty is by far one of my most favorite applications um, as far as gaming. Then we have Pokemon Go which I've been falling back behind. I just haven't been playing it too often. And then I recently downloaded Pokemon Unite. I'm going to try out this application. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of good things on it, but like I said, I'm gonna have to try it out. It was, I think it was unveiled uh, maybe in 2020. I am not sure, but like I said, I'm going to try it out and see what's it, you know, what's it about. That's pretty much the only three games I have. Call of Duty, I'm always, you know, I'm always playing. I'll get in like one or two games and then I'll, you know, when I'm taking a break, obviously, I'll play Call of Duty and then I'll go back to work and then take another break for like another 15, 20 minutes and play Call of Duty again. So I'm always on there and just trying to improve myself. Then we have the files application, which I'm, I'm super happy that, you know, Apple did add this. I think they added with iOS 14 last year. I'm super happy that they finally added the files application. And then last but not least, we have TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy pretty much shows my stats and my milestones. So first of all, thank you guys for 10,000 and now even 11,000 subscribers in literally less than a month. I passed 450 uploads on the channel. So that really does mean a lot to me, um, as well as passing 3.5 million views. So honestly, literally thank you each and every one of you for watching my videos it really does mean a lot but that's really it on my iphone 13 pro max i like to keep it really simple 
Um, I know you can change the icons and add more widgets and this and that, but for me, it's just keeping it very simple and cutting you know, right to the chase and getting everything done as is. I, I just like this setup for me. It's personally uh, much easier for me. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and if you, you know, if you just like the simple setup, then, you know, go right ahead. But a lot of people, I just want to reiterate, a lot of people are asking me what I use for my wallpapers, backdrops. So literally just go right here and let's say I'm, I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to click download and it's going to download. In fact, I saved it as one of my favorites. I'm going to go right here to recents, going to click on it and I am going to use as wallpaper, turn perspective, zoom off. There we go, set both. And here is my new wallpaper. So if you're looking for something, well, that's actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie, that's, I like that. But if you're looking for wallpapers, backdrops, guys, backdrops. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. You guys make my dream become a reality. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.